Uh, we have some rare footage of Jock Slade, uh, yes. my guest today on TYT Sports, back in his 11-year-old playing 11 days. 11-year-old, 11. Yeah, when I was 11. He was amazing. It's actually LeBron James Jr., who's actually unbelievable at basketball. Not too surprising, as we were discussing before right. the clip. But uh, this is TYT Sports. That's Jock. I'm Jason. Roll clip. So, uh, jo man, you were good back. back yeah. I, you know, I don't really like to talk about it, <laughs> right. but, I, but I had this thing called court vision as a mm. kid. Mm. It, was, it was incredible. I could see open players wherever they were. Uh, I had a look away where I would look one way and pass it another. Yeah, it was, it was kind of just born with it, really. I, I don't want to say I can't believe that LeBron James' kid models his game exactly like LeBron James. Right. Because, I mean, if you, go back, if you ever watched the Netflix documentary, on, uh, it's not a Netflix documentary. It's on Netflix, though. Uh, it's like more than a game. It's LeBron's like high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With this, this, this that's look. exactly what what this looks like. This looks like. And of course, you know, is there a little bit of an advantage? Yeah, LeBron's yeah. like the most physically gifted NBA player of all time. Right. He's a freight train. One hundred. He's also got uh, the mo as you mentioned the court vision, which is they asked D'Angelo Russell, Zach Levine, Carl uh, Anthony Towns, all like the rookies from this year and last year. Mm -hmm what one part of, of LeBron's game, and before they can finish the question, his passing. Really? They all answered his passing. And this kid obviously has the court vision because LeBron, he's gifted in that. And the kid, you mentioned his shoes. Yes. He's yeah. sick. Yeah, yeah. Had on $300 <laughs> LeBron. Just $300 cool. LeBron. My, da my dad's $300 shoes. So right. I guess it's, you know, I guess it works. I think it would be really funny if he trolled his dad. <laughs> and he's like, these are the Starberries. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Here are the questions. <laughs> Some AIs. <laughs> Maybe some D Wade's. That would be awesome. Be awesome. It's a funny. I remember watching. Uh, um, I was watching Sports Center one day, and LeBron was on talking about his kids, and he was talking about how LeBron, uh, LeBron Jr. will, uh, when he has a bad game, like he'll come home, and uh, LeBron Jr. would be like, 13, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> like, thirteen. <laughs> Imagine that kind of pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine having your kids evaluating your work. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, right. But when he plays, I mean, his son plays, so his son knows a little bit. At least he knows a little bit about the game. Right. Uh, you know, at least at least enough where he can be like, thirteen yeah. and five. I don't well, know. If he keeps that level of play up, he'll yeah. be playing college ball, and he'll probably be playing in the NBA. And uh, fortunately, his dad just signed a uh, a lifetime deal. Lifetime deal with Nike. So I think he'll be wearing three hundred dollar Lebrons for the next <laughs> three hundred years. Three hundred years. Yes. Make sure to like, favorite, subscribe the video, all the good stuff. Follow Jock at Cousteau on Twitter. Make sure to check out his YouTube channel as well. I'm uh, at Jason Rubin ninety one on Instagram and Twitter if you would like. Follow uh, that guy. Yeah, it's all right. Get some. Uh, I don't know. <laughs>